Okay, so here we have a burrow that's just come back from the field. They walk through the process. The burrow is trained along these tracks. You can see it goes in, goes past these two pack tables, and then it sweeps into the field where you have your pickers are concentrated to one row. When they finish that row, the route is deleted from the burrow and it's trained to a new route. We'll go over real quick kind of the process and how to do that. So when you're looking on the screen, you have very simple manual modes that you can, that you can uh, control burrow with. You can go back to your home screen. This is the current route that, that burrow is, is traveling along. If we wanted to get rid of that, we would just delete it go out of auto, come back into auto, well, now it is deleted, reset it, the other option is to use the trash can button, um, and then when we have the new route we want to train, this is in Spanish, we can obviously also go to English, and that's a little bit better, and now it says that it's learning the path. We'll bring this fruit back to this, this table, but for the time being, showing you how to train. I have a second table right here I want Bro to stop at. So I click station, and it's basically like clicking a bus stop, where when Bro comes back, it's gonna always wanna stop at that position. Bring Bro all the way to the row. Once I'm centered in the row, I press the forward button. It tells Burrow, hey, you're in a row now. You can just go ahead and navigate. And now Burrow's gonna wanna go on its way. So I wanna get this fruit back to this table, so I'm gonna send it back. And now we've kinda gone full circle in the process of how fruit is coming out of the row. It hits a transition point, gives people driving down the avenue time to see it coming. And then Burrow navigates its way all the way back where it started from, stopping at this station, right? Oh, I must not have clicked it. Traditionally, that station would have been right here and it would have stopped for about 10 seconds if I would have clicked it correctly. Beyond that, you have your simple person follow, where now I've gone out of the auto routes over here and I've come into just the person follow. So that dashed line shows nobody acquired. It also shows an obstacle. That's me currently standing in front of it. When I step, stand up, see now it sees me. And it turns green, and now Burrow's gonna follow me. And I can turn and go any, any which way. In addition, now I'm done with this. I'm no longer wanting to do person follow, and I wanna reload that route. So I'm gonna go load maps which means that every time that I go out of this auto setting right now, it will delete that. If I have load maps enabled, when I go back into this auto, it will retain that. So that path is still retained. I wanna run the route. I'm gonna click on it, and now it wants to retrace it. Move Burrow along the path a little bit so that it finds it. Now we're good to go. Burrow's back on its path.